Today, boys and girls, we will visit Italy. We will cross over some beautiful mountains to visit. They are called Italian Alps. Italy is Tony's country. It is shaped like a boot. That big island at the toe of Italy is also part of this country. It looks a little like the boot is kicking a football. Tony lives in Rome, a large, very old city in Italy. It is Italy's capital city. In Rome, you will see beautiful fountains and the remains of very old buildings right next to new, modern buildings. The old buildings were built by the Romans about the time when Jesus lived on earth. These Romans were the people who ruled the whole world at that time. There is an old road called the Appian Way that was built in those days that people still use for travel today. There are many interesting places to visit in Italy. Tony wants to take us to see Venice. The city of Venice was built on 118 islands. The city has little rivers instead of streets. They call them canals. It will be fun to ride down the canal in a gondola. It's a long, narrow boat. That man standing on the back of the gondola is steering. He is called a gondolier. I hope he will watch where he's going because I see many motorboats on the canal too. Next, we will go to Pisa and see the famous Leaning Tower of Pisa. The land under this bell tower is not solid. It sinks a little bit every year. That makes the tower lean a little bit. When we get back to Rome, Tony will take us to his home to eat lunch. Italians eat their big meal in the middle of the day. We like to eat many of the same things that the Italians like to eat. Pizza and spaghetti are two of Tony's favorites. Ours, too. Did you know that Italians make over 140 different types of pasta? The first pizzeria was opened in Italy. The Italians were the people who introduced ice cream to the world. They call it gelato. For dessert, Tony's mother will give us fruit. Fruit is a favorite dessert in Italy. The adults will enjoy coffee with their fruit pies. Grapes and olives are two main crops that are grown in Italy. They also grow almonds and figs. Fishermen catch fish along the seacoast. After lunch, we will play soccer with Tony and his friends. They like to play basketball, but soccer is their favorite sport. Skiing is a favorite in the winter when the snow is on the mountains. Before dinner, Tony and his family like to take a walk. Tonight, we will join them. Italian children sometimes keep crickets for pets. They may even buy them in tiny cages. Many Italian families live in apartments in the cities and towns because there is not enough room for houses. That's all for now, boys and girls. Thank you for taking a tour with me of Italy.